all of a sudden, a freaking bobcat comes running in the field. Dog, both dogs are on it right now. Oh, I think Lucy's on it. Yeah, Lucy, Lucy's Lucy might be on it. We got her. Really? Yes. Oh, there's, there's a lot of blood there, boys. I don't know if we could show you guys a whole lot of this. Shoo! It's deer hunting time, boys. We are ready to get after it. And, uh, well, we're going to do a little archery hunting. We got muzzy season actually coming up, but tonight is archery only. So we're getting everything kind of ready. But I got to tell you guys, we got a big, massive, actually, I think it's the biggest sale that Bucks has ever had and it's limited, okay? This thing ends at the end of October. Use code SPOOKY to get 30% off. That's right, 3 0 30. We've never done it before. It's like bigger than freaking Black Friday. So if you guys still have not geared up for deer season, now is the time. We've got brand new products like this muff that will actually keep your hands so warm. It is incredible. We've got rifle cases. We've got this guy right here, which actually, let me, let me just show you, okay? This is probably one of my favorite products. This is the waste pack, okay? This holds everything you need. We actually have a backpack, but in case you don't want the backpack, this thing will hold everything you need right here. Front pouch, we got grunt call. Bucks grunt call. In here, side pouch. Wabam! This is the Bucks bleak call. That's what I'm saying right there, buddy. So, we got the bleak call. In the main pouch, I've got my binos, but you can hold, look how big that is. You can hold anything you absolutely want in here. Over here, a pocket specifically designed for your rangefinder. It fits perfectly snug in there. Connects to your waist, it's in your way. Flip it out, bring it on back. I absolutely love this thing. So this product, we've got this hoodie, this hat. We have a ton of new hats, by the way, and new hoodies available right now, buckshunting.com. They'll be linked down in the description down below. Remember, code SPOOKY, S-P-O-O-K-Y, gets you 30% off just until the end of the month. And then the sale is gone for good. And stuff is going to sell out, folks. So if you need a rifle case, if you need a waist pack, you need a backpack, you need a grunt call, you need a bleak call, you need a hoodie, you need a hat, you name it. We've got it at buckshunting.com. We are going to be taking this guy out. This is my bow. I'm excited. We are going to be hunting right by the house. First time that we've actually hunted at the house this year. It's in the homemade blind that we made. If you guys have been watching the channel for a while, we made a really, really sick, big insulated blind. It's got an Xbox and a TV, okay? And uh, it's right down the road from my house. We've got a booming brassica plot in there right now. And uh, the deer have been hitting it hard. So we're gonna go out. We've got maybe about 45 minutes or so before we're gonna go jaunt down there. And uh, we're gonna give her a sit. We're gonna see what happens. Hopefully knock down big Sheila. You guys stay tuned.
that was the craziest, the craziest thing I've ever seen deer hunting. We literally got in the blind, sat down, and swear we just looked up, and there was three deer in the blind. One big mama and two pretty good sized doe. And I was like, all right, sweet. They are just walking there. I figured they're going to kind of do their circle, and then they'll exit through there. They came from up there, which is why we didn't see them. It's crazy. I, I, I swear, they walked in five minutes after we sat down. Nuts. And then all of a sudden, the mom, the big mom, started looking up the hill. And that's usually an indication that there's an, a critter, usually another deer. So she's kind of looking. She's stomping a little bit. Then all of a sudden, she blows. I'm like, usually they don't blow at all their deer. You know, they'll stomp and look and whatever. But they're not, like, usually blowing. All of a sudden, a freaking bobcat comes running in the field. She jumps on it, starts trying to hit it. It takes off running, and it ran here. And you could see it was like it was looking into this window, like it wanted to escape and jump on something. And I was like, I mean, all the doors are locked. Oh, oh dear, 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 dear. Well, that was the biggest show you ever done. Did see? Not only did we get in the blind late. The deer showed up two minutes after we got in here. Getting, we're like, mm, just let him eat. Chill. They only had a bobcat. Come scare him off. Mama chair, not that scared him off. Mama scared him off. She come running back. I thought she was about to dip, like dip good. You know, I don't know. I've never seen a freaking deer in there with a bobcat. So as soon as she turned, like she was about to sprint, I went, Mrah. that made her freaking hike into the woods um, quicker than anything. And uh, then they came, they kind of came back and they willy nilly here and then they ended up just getting out because they, they knew, you know, that it wasn't going to happen, essentially. And uh, so they took off. And then I was just giving you guys the update. I was, I was talking to you guys. And I was like, go, there's another one. And, you know, I had to get her all situated. Drawn back. The doe, it, like, they, this highway right here that I planned on shooting, they know to not be there. So we need to move this blind. So it's facing the plot better. Because, like, these windows are really hard to shoot out of with a bow. Like, it's doable. I need to get a lower seat, though, for sure. Because I'm, like, trying to duck. And I was like, no, I'm going to draw back. Oh, my God, there's another deer. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Welcome to the show. I'm retiring from deer hunting. We're done for the year. That was the just, you know, we did great last year. This year so far has been, it's been tough uh, in this spot just tonight. I mean, we saw... Three, four, five. We had five killable does, and I was unable to even take a shot on a single one of them. I think the orientation of the blind, this is the first time we've really hunted this blind, though, so in our defense, is we're testing it out, and it's early in the season, it'll be all right, but drawn, I draw back on freaking all of them, couldn't get in position, I was on top of Jake on the one, this last one, what, what's up with, the, I talked to the camera, also, when I said there's a deer, I'm not joking, I look up, I'm like, oh, there's another deer, I didn't even have a freaking arrow ready, like, I was just talking to you guys, chilling, vibing, so what happens when you're a YouTuber and you deer hunt, they don't mix well, you, you kind of, yeah. Yeah, if I was just here to kill stuff, I would have been freaking ready to go. All of a sudden, they would go, draw back, shoot. No, I'm like, hey, guys, my name's Andrew Flair. I just I just watched a doe walk out and watched a bob. Oh, there's another one. Oh, he went away. Oh, there's another one. They lived to see another day. <laughs> they all did. <laughs> but good news, Nebraska's looking fire, and we'll be back tomorrow. And we need to move the blind a little bit. And we're going to get a deer down tomorrow. Stay tuned. Shoo! Alrighty, folks. Well, it's uh, now muzzleloader season, as you can tell. And uh, we got a new muzzleloader. We got to get her sighted in. Um, you know, the bow deal just, man, we saw some deer. But I just, I wasn't quite able to get the angle of the dangle correct. That blind's more of a gun blind, in my opinion. It's not amazing for bow. I mean, where I just suck, which it could also be the case. But anyways, the plan now is muzzleloader. We're going after some muzzleloader deer um, now that it is muzzleloader season. So we do have a brand new one, brand spanking new. I bought a new one last year and I bought, see, my first one would have been two years ago. So every year I bought a new one. This one's like top of the line. Okay, no excuses. Even though I've never actually missed a muzzleloader deer. My first buck ever, in fact, was with the muzzleloader. Um, and it was actually shot right up Right up there. We're in the backyard, by the way. And the reason why is because one, uh, the baby doesn't sleep nearby here, so she can't hear. And we already have a target right down range there, which is, actually works out perfect. But inside the brand new Bucks rifle case, or muzzleloader case, we have a brand new Pew Pew. Okay, this thing is top of the line. Way too much money. And in fact, the scope itself 
self ranges because if you guys don't know anything about muzzle loaders um they got a little bit of drop to them at range you know over anything over like 100 yards or so um so this thing has a range finder button you hit the button it'll range find what you're looking at which could be the deer and then it'll drop and tell you which pin it's cr i know the technology is crazy it's overkill i get it i'm i kind of like trying that stuff like the more expensive techno technologically advanced stuff because one if it works i mean hey every advantage i can get to to ethically down a deer i'm all for and then two to prove if it's bs or not so it's overkill for probably backyard hunting but muzzle loader at the ranch you might get a little bit further shots you might be pushing 200 at times in which having something like this would be nice because it'll kind of help you calculate um the old rainbow effect so this guy's ready to well he's not ready to rock but he's he's here He's, he's ready to do its thing. Yeah. Which gonna, like it's it's going to be it's gonna be freaking sick. It's a heavy duty. Yeah. I mean, it's made for killing like caribou and stuff. But hey, the old, the old whitetail, that's all that matters. The guy, I went to Shields, the guy was just like, if you want something that shoots as close to a rifle as possible, I'm like, I'm in. Because I hate sighting in muzzle loaders. And he's like, no, 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 this thing burns clean. And in fact, he told me not to shoot the pellets. He told me to get like the actual powder. So we're going to pour our own, we're going to make our own little concoction here. Um, and we're set up, this is about 50 yards. Uh, range finder but yeah it's about 50 all the way to there so we're gonna get this thing filled up and get some ear pro on and this thing shoots we got 45 caliber so last year i was shooting 50 uh this year i'm shooting 45 which is more than enough to kill a whitetail plus it shoots a little bit straighter and flatter um a little bit less bang for your buck but i think again i wanted something that shoots as much like a rifle as possible to ensure that i hit where i need to hit on this deer so let's get to loading all right folks we got the scale out you can see feel like we're doing something illegal here but we're not and before we get too far into it remember code spooky gets you 30 percent off buckshunting.com right now through the end of the month you need orange like me like i legally need it today like i have to actually wear this um you get this hoodie right here 30 percent off right now tonight code spooky okay 105 oh, hey rick what are you doing junior get out of here that's gonna be what's going on there a little too much Throw a little bit back in there. What do we got now? Hey, close. Under Nate, you want a little extra poof or no? No. Okay. That'll work. Dang, son. 106. That'll call it. Yeah, that'll work. Hey, look at me. One, one five. Let's go. I'll put you back. Okay. So powder has been measured. Pour her down. 105 grains. 105. Bam. Look at this bolt, by the way. Isn't that the weirdest looking thing? That's crazy looking. Like, that don't... That makes sense. I don't even know what's going on here, but... Hey. I mean, that if that hit you, yeah, you'd be out. Wah bam Let's Put this sucker on there. There it is. Does it seem right? Yep. Height-wise? That always makes me nervous. It's just, bang! Now, this is the weird part. It's the old bolt. Is that where you put your primer? Yep. There it is. That's it. Yep. Really? She's ready to rock. Off safe and give it a squeeze. All right, let me put some ear promos so on and die. Man, see how long that took? I really hope this thing's close. It's like not even on target. It's my least favorite thing with muzzle loaders. Like, I don't mind hunting with them, they're okay. I've killed, I've only shot a muzzle loader twice at a deer, at two deer, I should say. Killed both of them. Both, bang, bang. Except my first buck. But, takes you a whole afternoon to sight this sucker in sometimes so hopefully it's at least on target hear ye hear ye oh yeah baby all right i'm going for a headshot if i hit the head call it good stop while you're ahead all right though Ew! i hit it dude that thing about knocked me off my seat that was cr that's like a 50 cal let's freaking go buddy hey maybe off an inch or so but i said if i hit the head we're calling it good look at that barely gave her the old scrape Aim an ish here. I mean, that's. I'm like two and a half inches off target. I mean, that's a dead deer in my book. Just aim. Aim, a, like, go up the shoulder, hang a little to the waist. Yeah, right. heart's bigger than that. Yeah, their heart's bigger than that. And, all, and their lungs, I mean, right there. Barely, though. God, if I missed that, I'd been freaking be like, where the hell is it hitting? Headshot. So I was aiming, like I said, roughly here. Hit there. That was at 50 yards, which at the house today, we're not going to be a beyond that we're probably gonna be closer to 30 or 20 um so i mean it should shoot in theory pretty flat out to you know maybe 100 or so yards so before we take it to the ranch and go long distance i'll have to do some adjustments but i mean that's crazy just throwing that sucker on there and we bore sighted at shields i mean that 
hey, that's all you need. That's all you need to do. Boar cider. Like I said, I think she's close enough. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get her repacked and reloaded. Um, it's a warm one out here today, but I think it'll be. We should hopefully see something. All we need is something to pop through that plot. Early muzzy deer. Poof, we got venison in my belly. That being said, see you guys tonight. Shoo! All right, we gotta be quiet, folks. But we are ready to go. We are oranged out. You ready, old bean? We're ready. We're gonna walk down. Hopefully, we get the job done here with the old muzzy. At this point, boys, if it's brown, it's down. We're looking for some nice venison. Hopefully, it's a big old buck. But hey, like I said, if it's brown, it's down. So we're gonna end up quietly walking to the blind here. And hopefully, big Sheila come out. Now that we're muzzleloader hunting, it don't even matter if a bobcat wants to come do bobcat things. Because hey, I could have shot that big son of a gun even with it chasing the bobcat. The bow, a little tough. I'll be honest, this blind is not ideal. But now we got the pew. If it's gonna, if it touches, if its feet touch the green plot, that deer's going down. Fingers crossed, something happens. Stay tuned. Welcome back, folks. It's 88 degrees. We got a south wind of about 14, gusting to 25. In case you're curious, our blind sits on the south side of the plot. Therefore, wind's blowing directly into the plot. It's uh, since it's so warm, I am wearing a Guggen T-shirt, and uh, I got this vest at least. It's hot though out here, so. I'm dressing appropriately. We've been deer hunting so much. Hadn't hardly seen anything. Y you can't kill them on the couch. Isn't that what those pros say? Yeah, I guess. You also can't kill them when it's 88 in October. So, anyways, we'll see you guys down in the blind. Wow. Wow, I can't hear anything. That was loud. Wow. How'd that go? Wow, I can't see. I can't. My one ear's good. The other ear's not. Oh, I can't hear you. Can hear I can't hear you talking right now. Holy smokes! Good night. She ran down, and then she kicked it up. I dude, that was, that was that bad. Was bad. That, that was like not a good. Flashback. That was. <laughs> <coughs> Wow, I can't hear anything. That was loud. <sighs> Let's go. I don't know where she's at. I, 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 for sure, I saw her go down and then I saw her kick up right. It's a small one, I'll, I'll be honest. It, it's not the biggest, but <sighs> after freaking however many days of not being able to get a shot on them, now that it's muzzy, we gotta get the venison in the freezer. And in fact, Jake and I, we were even just talking about this. I was like, yeah, you know, like a lot of times people try to go for the older, bigger, mature doe, but we're talking about meat. Meat-wise, the youngest are supposed to taste better. Now, I killed a pretty big one, not like a crazy old one, but a pretty big one, with a bow at the ranch. And what we did was we actually saved the backstrap from it. Or, yeah, it was the backstrap, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so what we might do, assuming we recover that, that deer, which, I mean, I put it right on and squeeze. I don't I don't know. It was, you guys saw the footage. It looked like a freaking flashbang went off my right ear. still just ringing pretty heavy. But assuming we recover that deer, I think the plan is going to be, now that we did actually harvest a pretty, like I said, she's small. I don't, I'm not going to act like this deer is a monster by any means. But I do really want to find out. I don't think I've ever eaten, I mean, like, like banjos, Doe last year wasn't big, but it wasn't, I don't know. I don't know how old it was. I don't think I've ever really eaten a small deer, but everyone always says they taste better. So we're gonna try to figure that out today. Well, not today, we'll, you know, maybe tomorrow, whatever. Continue it, but we're gonna do factor cap. Assuming again, we, we find that deer. Factor cap, if uh, the, you can tell the difference. It's really not what tastes better. I wanna see, can you tell the difference between the two? And then which one is your preference? And uh, try to do like a blind taste test or something like that and see, you know, if you're really just trying to, f you know, fill the freezer and maybe your freezer's not that big, so you go harvest a small one, maybe they'll taste better. I don't know. 
I've always been told that the small one stays but I've never actually harvested it. I, you know, that thing's, I don't know. I don't think she probably wasn't born this year, probably the next year, you know, maybe a year and a half, nothing too big, but she walked in perfect, gave me a perfect shot. I mean, she wasn't perfectly broadside, but with the old muzzy, I mean, we should be in business. So fingers crossed we go recover her and uh, we'll get to skin and gutting and then eating. Stay tuned. Where's that dead bird, Lucy? Fetch up. We made it. I brought I brought Millie. I don't know why, but I figured she'd have a good time. She ran. She ran the other way. Look at look at look at her. Look at her. Dude, I'm this dog's this nuts, dog bro. Dialed. Right there, it's right where I shot her. Her blood trail's there. We saw a little bit of blood. We went up. We wait. We've waited about an hour, hour and a half. Went and got the poochies, and uh, we're gonna let them have a little bit of fun. And uh, I, I kind of know where she went up and around. She, look, she's back up on it now. She's trying to pick it back up, but the deer went that way. So we're gonna follow their blood trail all the way out so that way Lucy stays right on it. And then we don't know if she went right, straight, or even in the other ravine. But she'll, Lucy, uh, Mill, what is she doing? Mill, she's on it, honestly. Honestly, she's not, she, she's hunting more. Millie's staying out, I don't know, I figured it'd be cool. Maybe Millie would get her first deer. She's not a hunt dog, in case you were curious, but. All right, let's go find this deer. Lucy, fetch. It's going, this is, oh, this might be the trail right here. Is there blood? Look at this trail right here. Lucy just took it. Where's that bird, Lucy? Get on it. Right there. Oh, yeah. That's blood. Millie was on that one. Yeah. Good job, Mel. Where's it at, Lucy? Oh, yeah, dude, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There it is. All right, where's she at? Yeah, she's still on the road. Look up ahead. Look yeah. at that. Oh, dude, she's just yeah, look at right here. Right here. Oh yeah. Look at this. All right, we'll just follow the trail. There's this where it ends. That's it's dude. It's she's. It's down there. Oh, look, 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 look. Okay, she's down here. Yeah. It's down in there somewhere. The dog. Both dogs are on it right now. Oh, I think Lucy's on it. Lucy. Lucy's Lucy might there. be on it. Lucy might be on it. We got her. Really? Yes. Yeah, she's down, baby. <laughs> she's down. Good girl, Lucy. Good girl, good girl. Oh, there's there's a lot of blood there, boys. I don't know if we could show you guys a whole lot of this, but we found a baby. Well, folks, we got her. Hey, get back. No, 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 back in the side-by-side. -side. Hey, hey, hey. We already got her. Uh, we got the side-by-side -side and right. You can see her legs sticking up there. We can't show you. They're already demonetizing channels, folks. We can't risk it. I know, that's why we have uncut, but we are gonna we are gonna get her field dressed here. We'll, we're gonna time lapse it but i'll probably have to blur a lot of it i know I, it sucks dude i wish i could post what i want to post on youtube but it is what it is so anyways buddy's uh right over down yonder i said i can't show you a whole lot yeah the last video video we did got a little got a little squirrely show we showed a little too much blood apparently so i'm gonna try showing none and we'll see what youtube thinks anyways get this sucker gutted out stay tuned <laughs> folks well as you can tell okay we got a little bit of you and a little bit of you versus the guy she does not to worry about okay so this right here is in fact i know it looks light colored uh we soaked it in water it lost the color but the inside's fine we had trimmed off the the silver skin and uh, this is the dough that we shot last night this guy right here this is big shield this guy came from the ranch if you guys didn't see this video i'll roll the clip So yes, harvested this guy from the ranch. It was a full size mature doe and we ended up keeping the back straps because we ended up just eating the tenderloins. We kept the back straps and I was like, well, this is the perfect test. Literally side by side comparison. You can see the size difference. It's significant. Like I said, this is a very young deer versus an, an older deer, maybe 
two, three, four, five. We don't know. That was how old the dough is. We're gonna do side by side tests. Everybody always says the young ones taste better, and I want to prove it. And so we'll end up cooking both of them. Uh, and we'll see which one tastes better. We're gonna keep it simple with some ducks all meat seasoning. Um, that way, there's no overpowering crazy flavor infused in there. I mean, it's gonna be straight meat. Um, it's gonna taste great with this, uh, but this just lightly seasons it. It doesn't give it some crazy barbecue flavor or some crazy Cajun flavor. It's just gonna bring it out like a nice fillet steak. So what we'll do is we'll just keep it like this and I'll keep this guy and make this guy into steak sometime. But for now, we'll just do this. We'll set this guy to the side. We'll keep him for some steaks. But now we've got two similar size. That way they cook similar. This one's a little thicker, so this one will have to stand a little bit longer. Um, but I want them to cook similar. I want it to be like fair. So maybe we'll pull this guy off a little sooner, or leave this guy for five more minutes or something like that. Um, but I want it to be, um, you know, equal playing fields because I want to give the old mama Big Sheila fighting chance, because everybody always says the young ones taste better. I don't know. I mean, they, they like I said, they look a little bit different. This one's a little bit darker. We're a little bit more rich. This guy does seem a little bit more tender. So we'll find out. But what we're going to do is we're going to nice, nice and season these guys up. Like I said, nothing too crazy. We want to keep that venison flavor prevalent and present in this. Just a nice, light little season like that. Give bad boy a flip. Give this bad boy a flip. I mean, look at the color difference there. That's crazy. One night, just threw it in some water last night, and this guy we thawed out this morning. So, yes, there's gonna be a little bit of difference because I know a lot of people age their deer, you know, they'll age the meat. And this this dough right here has been, I don't know, in the freezer for maybe a week or so. Um, it's not like we actually aged it, it just it sat in the freezer in a shrink, you know, Ziploc, shrink wrap deal. Um, so there is a chance that plays a role. It's not like we shot a mom and a baby at the exact same time, but this is pretty dang close. I think it's going to be fairly similar. So, yeah, hey, don't leave that end bare now, all right? Give her a nice, give her a nice coating. Oh, my gosh, this smells amazing. Should be good to go. Make sure she's evenly coated all the way around. I'm going to give her one, one last little dust. Don't want to overdo it. We're going to head out to the grill, throw them both on the grill. Um, I think we're going to start off slow, maybe like 275, um, a little low and slow. Let them kind of just get a little smoky flavor to it. I think I got some pecan pellets in there. And then crank her on up, and medium rare is what we're going for. So I think it's what, 135? Yeah, 130. 130, pull, pull them off at 130. Pull them off at 130. We'll see you guys outside. Shoo! These bad boys are done, folks. Got them cranked up. Might have let them go on just a little too long, but it'll be all right. Eat them right away. Look at that. Big old chunks of meat. Well, we're gonna slice these suckers up and stick this in our mouth. Like I said, we let it go just a little too long. I didn't think, we only had it at 275. I was like, no, 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 low and slow, baby. See what happens. 30 minutes, these suckers are done. So, all right, well, let's get them cut up. Oh yeah, baby, not bad. We got a little medium. Okay, we were going for medium rare, but I'll take it. She's still juicy though. She got them juices flowing. Looks tender. It, it, yeah, and this is big Sheila too. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna cut up a few slices of this guy. Well, this is looking this is looking pretty good, I'll be honest. Oh yeah. That's looking nice. Alright, so a few slices there. This guy is gonna be borderline jerky. No, not really. He ain't be oh, he ain't that bad. I've seen worse. You eat it when it's hot. I really just I had no idea. I was like, dude, we'll just low and slow it. It's still good. Oh yeah. She's still she's still got a little juice. We'll just have to see which one tastes better. Even though this guy is cooked a little bit longer. I think it'll be all right. Okay, I'm gonna go I'm gonna cut this guy in half. Oh yeah, you can see as it's cooling down, it's getting darker. So we're, yeah, we're probably sitting a medium on this guy, medium rare on that one. Mmm. Is that the old young one there? That's a young one. That is good. Zero game, none. Really? None. Hmm. It's a little chewier, probably because it's overcooked a little bit. Here's, this is the old nanny. Oh my god. Way different? Bro. Really? She's good, the big one. Mm -hmm. That is insane, the difference. I'm not even lying. Really? Like, this is like straight up pork or beef tenderloin. Really? You'd have no idea. Oh my gosh. We might be killing some more fonts. <laughs> Dude, I'm serious, bro. How about this? You close your eyes. Yeah. And I'll put one on a fork. Really? And then just blind taste it. See if I can tell which one's young, which one's old. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm in. Can you see anything? No. Really? All right, here we go. 
So am I guessing which? Am I, I just gonna pick which one I like better? Well, no, you, you you guess which one is old and which one's young. Okay. I, I mean, you can say which one you like better, all but right, all right, yeah, I get it. Um. Okay. So there's your fork. There it is. Okay, I'll get. You, I'll take your fork. We'll make it quick. Once you get a gauge on that bad boy. It's damn good. Pretty really good. good. Yeah. Okay, you, oh, got, yeah. you got your next one here. There it is. All right, you can take your blindfold off now. Based off a of taste, do you have any idea? Mmm. They taste different. Yeah. Which one had more game, first or second? The first one tasted like deer. Yeah. More. Yeah. The second one didn't. Yeah. I think the second one was the young one. Yep. But I kind of like both of them. Yeah, they're good. Way. They're good. But yeah, they're, they do taste different. very different. Yeah, you, you sp sp this spot one. on. This guy, this guy got a little overcooked, which I apologize. I just, I don't know. That was my bad. I didn't check the temp soon enough. This guy was cooked almost perfectly. I mean, he's probably a little on the medium more versus medium rare. But there's zero deer taste. Mm. Zero. Which I don't mind the venison taste. Like the taste of venison, I don't mind. Like, a pretty solid. It tastes, if you like that, a little hint, just a hint of deer. This thing's fire. If you don't like the hint of venison at all, mm -hmm. this has none. Yeah. Like when I say none. It's just like a sirloin steak that's a little bit overdone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what this tastes like. Like, there's no, no game. Oh, she ain't gonna try it. No? You gonna try it? It's like 11 in the morning. There's no, there's no better time to stick meat in your mouth. Like, I've had way worse deer than Oh, yeah. It's good no, deer, it's solid, yeah. This does not taste like deer. No. Like, I like, wouldn't. Like, I could blindfold deer. somebody and nobody would know it's venison. This, you would get, you just get, like, you sniff and you could just get a hint, just a, just a teeny little pinch mm -hmm. of game. The other one, there's nothing. It, yeah, it tastes like beef. Yeah, it does. It tastes like sirloin steak. Wow. That's, That's crazy. I mean,. If you were to like, if you were to ask me, like, I'll be like, yeah, I mean, I, honestly, I figured the other one would be more tender, which it probably was if I didn't overcook it. But it is a drastic, differently tasting meat. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste like the same species. Like no. if you were to, if you were to do, go both, you'd be like, those aren't the same animal. There's no way. No, they're different. Like texture, everything. Everything is different. Mm -hmm. Listen, buddy. I know that you're supposed to let them go and let them grow. But listen, Rick. If you want the best tasting meat out of a deer, them youngins, they got something figured out over there. Okay. The old ones, they're not bad either. They're, they're, it's really, actually really good. But man. One thing though. What's, let's hear it. yield, not very high. You're not going to get a ton of meat. You only get a couple deer tags. True. Don't want to shoot all youngins. True. You don't want very much meat. So if you're trying to fill the freezer, you might go for maybe a medium. Yeah, medium size. Old grandma mm, tastes, like, tastes like leather. Let yeah, her do her yeah, thing. Let her do her thing. So it, it depends on what you want. If you want a really, really delicious cut of meat, them youngins are the deal. If you want to fill the freezer and have an abundance of meat, you got to go for a little bit bigger. But I would say myth is not busted. It, myth is confirmed. Yeah, it is. Confirmed. Like confirmed, like beyond doubt, confirmed the youngins taste better. You guys let us know what you think. Have you found that to be true or not? This is, I mean, if Andrew was here, he'd be nodding his head like crazy going, oh, yeah, that's, I mean, this is, it's incredible. Well, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We finally got a deer down the ground. We grinded for it in the backyard. Again, it would have been nice to have a big old buck or even a big old nanny, but when it comes to catching, cleaning, and cooking, folks, okay, that young, that's the best tasting back strip I've ever had in my entire life. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember, code SPOOKY at buckshunting.com until the end of the month gets you 30% off. You got, you want to get blazed out like this, you want to wear hoodies, we'll get your fanny packs, get your rifle cases, your bleak calls, your grunt calls, you name it, 30% off code SPOOKY, S-P-O-O-K-Y. Okay, down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And peace. Jer Eliante pulling up, feeling like Harry Belafonte. Look at my racks, feel like Serena went from the back. Swing.